god! Nothing. This tractor. And it looks like a car. More heartbreaking scenes from California. This woman's father is nowhere to be found and his house destroyed. As some of the fires burn out, the grim search for missing people intensifies. And some neighborhoods and towns look like they've been bombed and the danger is far from over. CBS4's Ileana Diaz has the latest. The search has intensified for victims and survivors of California's deadliest and most destructive fire on record. Nothing. This tractor. And it looks like a car. Chardonnay Telly has not heard from her father, Richard Brown, since before the blaze. My dad's a survivor, and um, he's been through war and so many things, and there's a possibility he could have made it through this. Officials say hundreds remain unaccounted for after the campfire decimated the northern California town of Paradise and the surrounding area. When are we going to be able to get back, find out, you know, what's left? 90 miles to the south of Paradise, smoke hangs over Sacramento, the state capital. We have to stay inside. There's no way we can't. In Southern California, west of Los Angeles, firefighters are seeing progress, bringing the Woolsey fire under control despite intermittent flare-ups. Evacuation orders are lifted in parts of Southern California and Calabasas. That means families are coming home for the first time and in many cases devastated to see there's nothing left. Suddenly the heat comes and the amber started coming. That's when I told my wife and neighbor, we don't have time. By the time I started the car, my house was already on fire. The fire has burned 350 square miles up and down California, an area bigger than New York City. Ileana Diaz, CBS News, Calabasas, California.